Stick around till the end of this video to hear an offer from today's sponsor, Uplift Standing Desk. Well, listen, this is not out of out of uh, bounds for Donald Trump. This is, uh, why should we act like surprised by this? Just yesterday on Truth Social, he posted this video of these idiots who have their cars like painted with Donald Trump on them and uh, flags and flying their flags on the back. And the guy has a, a personalized plate. We're going to play a video here, a clip here in a second. Um, it says Trump for us personalized license plate or Trump for us, or it's just the people dedicate their lives. They give of their time. They give of their treasure for Donald Trump and, and to promote him. I am so and, happy you printed this out. And they posted this video. He, he, and this isn't a retruth. This isn't a repost. He posted this video of a truck with all of the idiot flags. And on the back tailgate is, is a, a, an image of Joe Biden hogtied, gagged in the back of the truck. <laughs> So the video is just music. There's no speaking. It's just like, I think it's somber music actually, which is interesting because it's like this video of a monster truck. I think it's supposed to be like inspirational music. It oh, is, is, is that the vibe? That, That's that, not the vibe that I got. Yeah. <laughs> is it Phantom of the Opera? Because he's famously been coming out to Phantom of the Opera as his intro to yeah. events, but not from the show or from the Broadway musical. No, it's from the Gerard Butler movie. Okay. Yeah, just um, just want to make that clear. Yeah. I mean. It, I mean, look. This is this cost a lot of money to do to the truck. First of all, like these decals. Yes, I mean, yes. what's the estimate here? Uh, I ten. Well, the truck itself is probably about an eighty thousand yeah, dollars truck. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, probably at least ten grand, I would say, of custom stuff on. Also, here. here's what I love that they've got the the current sitting president of the United States bound and gagged in the back, depicting his his kidnapping I or harming him. And then on the side, on the side of the truck, it's a flag, and beneath it, it it's it's united we stand. <laughs> and it's got like spikes on the hubcaps. But, but I'm he glad wants us to be united, Ian. I'm so glad that you mentioned hogtied because this is so sexual. This is so <laughs> sadosexual, right? Like this is, this guy is really working through something and- <laughs> It, the, the other, I I'm knew just, that you were going to go there. Yeah, I mean, like, I look, knew. I mean, yes, you invite me on here. You know what I'm going to yeah, do. But also, yeah. like, all the thin blue line flags. Oh, yeah. This one says back the blue as they are, as they're depicting a crime of kidnapping and harming the sitting president of the, where the fuck is the, where, where, where's the secret service here? Well, I mean. I mean, it's filled with fascists who support Donald Trump. Right. Where they right. are. The other thing too is I didn't know that it was called retruths on here. I'm really enjoying mm -hmm. this. I'm so glad you printed this out for me. I, I am going to be delighted by this for you a long time. You love how it looks. That. It I looks exactly. You can take that with you. It looks exactly like Twitter. It we're going to go does. over to Ian's. Yeah. We're going to go over to Ian's house later, and it's going to be framed on the wall. <laughs> the, it is crazy, and I don't. I've, I've been trying really hard not to take us off topic, and I think I've done a pretty good job. You but, have, yeah. But like stuff like this, like just really activates me, and I realize like how much Trump has invaded my brain and that I will just forever be thinking about like the way he talks, the things he posts, just like his like dementia is now like become my reality. <laughs> I'm going to forget what my dad sounds like, but I'm going to remember Trump tweeting about bad food restaurants and things like this. It's, it's just the reality he's created. Well, is, well we have a gift for you though. Oh. Yeah. Because you know, every time he opens his mouth, you get a banger. Absolutely. And I think that he recently made an appearance on Fox and Friends and he started talking about where we are as a country and where- well, Let me guess, it's not a good place? It's it's bad. <laughs> oh, and okay. where, where we're going to end up if he's not elected. Okay. November 5th, that's election day. It's going to be November 5th. That is the most important period of time. It's the most important day in the history of our country. Our country's going bad, and it's going to be changed on November 5th. And if it's not changed, we're not going to have a country anymore. Hmm. Brian, uh, looks like the president was really balanced. He, he, a somber tone. Could there be more? Could there be more yearning for Donald Trump's ball bag to be just dangling around in between their That's lips? That's the and, balance and we're talking about. It's oh, perfectly right. just left insane. And right. So the, the yearning for the grundle butter 
They just they want to. Mm. Didn't like so, that. Mm. Didn't like that. So, didn't enjoy that one. That well, combo so works. Too much. We have something that we play when things start going into this territory. The views and opinions of Jesse Dolamore are solely those of Jesse Dolamore and do not reflect the views and opinions of Brittany Page, who is a far superior person and much more measured and reasonable in her views and analysis. That's me. Brittany is a a stated opponent of grundle butter and I Donald just don't Trump's like bald those words. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't put them together, and then I wish it wouldn't then be like with Trump. Again, I think about his body too much, but we've already oh, established interesting. that. Yeah, wow. It, <laughs> well, I mean, he famously doesn't take his shirt off. And so like Ever? that. Can you imagine that? I can't. That's what I mean. Like it's cause, <laughs> yeah, it's cause he's already a very like womanly figure too. Like there's just so much going on there that I, you I think don't... he has a womanly figure. You know what's weird You've about never it? Never seen his ass, the, the <laughs> pictures of his ass. It is <laughs> these fucking I don't think about Trump's body as much as you, these I think is what we're they really believe he is like the prime specimen of alpha male. Like those Ben Garrison cartoons where he's yes. like, yeah, he's just like, he's got an eight pack. And uh... <laughs> do you, do you love that debate moment then when like Marco Rubio talked about him having small hands and said that it means something else is small. And then at the debate, Donald Trump he's was like, like, no problem. Yeah, here. And he's like, I can assure you. And then he tried to say that there's a problem somewhere else. I can assure you there's no problem. And he like moved the microphone closer to his mouth. I, I mean, like, yes, Brittany, the answer is yes. I <laughs> love that moment. Well, I loved every part of it that. It really is a weird dichotomy between this comically stupid motherfucker. Yep. Who, who, who does pose existential threats to the safety and security of the nation from a military and, and, and national security standpoint, but also just the thriving of humanity in the country. It's it's so it's so fucking bizarre that this glitch in this simulation that we happen to be in in the time. Yeah, we, the only thing we are lucky about is that he's fundamentally lazy and disinterested. Yeah, those the only who surround thing... him are not correct. That, correct. That's the for sure. Problem. For that is sure. Scary because that... he he's not the one with the principles. No. He he's he doesn't care about. Religion. He, made, he, he doesn't made care American... about Christianity. He doesn't care about all this stuff. Brittany, what do you mean? He's selling Bibles. He's got to love the Bible. He made America great again. I don't know what you're <laughs> yeah, talking about. Yeah, come on. I love the Bible. God, we got to bring back God. Like, God needs Donald Trump's help bringing. If God is God, the creator of everything seen and unseen, he doesn't need fucking Donald Trump's help. God's very nice to me. Uh. Always. Always, always has uh, good things to say. We, we love him, folks. Don't we love God? Finding the right materials and tech to fit your working environment can be tough. With our podcast spaces, we went through a bunch of different desks and chairs while searching for a flexible setup that worked best for us. That setup, our Uplift Standing Desk. As the New York Times wire cutters standing desk pick for five years running, Uplift Desk doesn't just aim to improve your work, but your health as well. Studies show that using a standing desk can heighten your mood and focus, and moving more throughout the day lowers your risk of disease. We absolutely love our Uplift desk because we can go from sitting to standing height with one press of a button while prepping for and shooting the show. It's also super stable and comes with cable management accessories to help conceal all those wires. Customize your Uplift desk with over 100 desktop styles and hundreds of accessories. You'll get four free when you buy a desk. Elevate your work and your health. Go to upliftdesk.com slash I doubt it to get 5% off your first purchase when you use code I doubt it at checkout. Uplift desk has 6,000 five-star Google reviews and counting. So we're not the only people singing their praises. And with a 15 year warranty, free shipping, free returns with free return shipping, you cannot lose if you try them out. Uplift your health and productivity. Just head to upliftdesk.com slash I doubt it or click the link in the description to score 5% off of your order when you use code I doubt it at checkout. Work better, live healthier with Uplift Desk.